but in Aventura, the sewer main break in Aventura, we first reported last night at 11, still has the Layman Causeway shut down. Yeah, it's impacting the evening commute. And now the big question is, when will the break be repaired and when is the causeway reopened? CBS 4's Kerry Codd is live in Aventura with the latest. Kerry. Well, we might have an unofficial answer to that question. Within the last minute or so, we just saw the um, eastbound lanes apparently open up. We saw five or six cars head eastbound over the causeway, and the Aventura police vehicles move out of the way. So we have to try to confirm exactly that the eastbound lanes are open, but it does appear that way at this moment. Now, county officials say they're working diligently to fix the problem and open the entire causeway, and they say they're well underway in a multi-billion dollar program program to deal with aging infrastructure in the county. A broken 24 inch sewer pipe buried 12 feet underground opened a large hole in the William Lehman Causeway late Thursday night. A driver hit what they thought was a pothole and called Aventura police. As the officers arrived, they noticed that the integrity of the road was actually collapsing. As we all know in Florida, we have a lot of sinkholes, so that's a very big critical incident for us. We're told Miami-Dade County water and sewer workers responded immediately, rerouted the flow of wastewater, and isolated the section of sewer pipe that's broken. Service was not interrupted, we're told. However, county officials say the repair is complicated. First, the pipe is underneath the water table, and there's a lot of sand underground, so workers had to make sure the ground was stable to work on. And we'll be going and continuing to work until this repair is complete. We are trying to, to show them how to get to Sunny Isles. It's been a headache for drivers. This woman drew a map for some tourists to help get them to the beach. Water and sewer workers say the pipe was installed in 1979 and that the shelf life for pipes varies depending on what it's used for and where it's installed. This is your Miami Dade Minute. In fact, on Thursday, the county tweeted a video of the Water and Sewer Department director discussing a multi billion dollar effort to repair and replace aging water and sewer infrastructure throughout the county. And over the next five to ten years, we're going to put in substantial investments to keep their waters clean, to make sure their wastewater is treated. And it's a massive undertaking. Miami Dade County has 14,000 miles of water and sewer pipes serving 2.3 million customers. We are investing billions of dollars in upgrading and replacing thousands of miles of water pipes, sewer pipes, upgrades at our pumps, our sewer pump stations, as well as at our water treatment plants and sewer treatment plants. And just within the last uh, minute or so that we've been on the air, we've seen another handful of cars, now a motorcycle going over, another vehicle heading eastbound. We're trying to get confirmation from the county, but it does certainly look like the eastbound lanes are open. The westbound lanes likely still closed, which is what they told us the situation would be. If you do need to get over uh, to A1A or back over, you can also use Hallandale Beach Boulevard or Northeast 163rd Street. Live in Aventura, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News.